What's going on? It's Rico. This is the top 100 production tips from Old School Productions. So today we're going to be talking about how to make a very simple riser using a synthesizer. And you can do this with Massive FM. You can do this with Silent One. You can do this with the one most likely built into your DAW. I'm going to be using Thor, found in Reason 5, 6, and 7. So I've initialized the patch here, and this is what it sounds like. Boring. I'm going to change this, uh, this ramp right now to a sine wave. Get a nice clean sound. Good. Now what we have to do is first of all change the pitch range here. We're going to change it to 24. What this means is that the range of the pitch bend is going to be two octaves, meaning it's going to go from C up to the next C, up to the next C. If I were to play one, there's the lowest one. So you're basically going to get four octaves in total, which is pretty awesome. Now, let's go to the LFO section here. We're going to uh, tempo sync, first of all. We're going to change the rate to the longest one, which is four bars. And we're going to change this waveform to a ramp up, so it'll be a riser. The next thing we do is we're going to actually press this key sync button. It's very important. What happens is this button, whenever you press a key on the keyboard, it resets the LFO. So the LFO will begin at the bottom and begin to rise and rise. Excellent. So now let's play some notes on the piano. You notice nothing's happening, right? Because we haven't assigned this LFO to this oscillator. To do this, we go down to the modulation source. Now, every synthesizer has a section like this. We go to the source, we select LFO1. We want this to modulate this analog oscillator. We're going to go to destination 1. We're going to find it, oscillator 1. We're going to go to pitch. Good. Press the button again. Still nothing's happening. Why? We haven't adjusted the rate here. I mean this amount here. Full blast. Now what happens is it should oscillate. But there's still one more thing we have to do. Over here at the amp envelope, we want to change the decay and the sustain to full blast. This is going to help us so that we know that every time we play a note it will stay as loud as the moment that we hit it until we let go and it will sustain forever. So let's play a note. There's our riser. Nice. Let me go up two octaves higher. That's our riser. So let's uh, let's have some fun with this. We're going to add another oscillator here, an FM pair. And we'll change this to 1, mod 2, and a little here. And let's go down here and we'll add a wavetable. And we'll add a square harmonic. Good enough. And then we'll come up here. Click these three here. We've got an even balance. A little bit of drive on here. Cool. Change this up. Do we got? Mixed waves. Pretty cool. So that's how to make a simple riser using Thor and Reason. I'm Rico, this is the Top 100 Production Tips, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.